Stella from Maple University and this is Stella short and sweet for the voyages of Marco Polo from Hans M. Gluck. You are the associates of 17 years old Marco Polo who traveled with him starting in 1271 to China. The game plays two to four players with mechanics such as dice rolling, worker placement, point to point movement and order fulfillment. The game is of medium complexity. There are a few things you can do to earn points in the game. But you start it by rolling your five dice and assigning your dice as workers one or more dice, one player at a time to the main board. You're trying to do things that earn you money and points, such as traveling, getting goods, getting money, completing contracts, and fulfill your end game secret objectives. You also unlock more worker space by traveling and erecting your trading posts at various locations, making traveling, although quite expensive, also quite beneficial, as this is also the way to earn immediate bonus and income. Most of your points come from contract cards and of game objectives, erecting the last two of your trading posts and having majority in contract completion. The game ends after five rounds and the player with the most points wins. The asymmetric character power dealt at the start of the game to each player are quite powerful. Maybe worth to device your strategy based on that. There are some dice mitigation mechanics like camels can manipulate the dice, get you extra dice, and you also get them as compensation if you roll less than 15 dice pips in a round. There are actions that are cheaper for lower dice pips, although I think it's not as powerful. The dice usually not quite on my side, and there are not a lot of powerful things that I could do when I have that low dice rolls, but maybe because I got the asymmetric power of having extra trading posts that can give me more points if I'm able to erect all of them. But traveling seems to be quite hard, or maybe it's just me. Still, it's a solid Euro game. We like playing it a few times already. Now I have Marco Polo 2 review in a separate video and another video comparing the two Marco Polos. So check the link in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Mipu University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hope to see you there too. Until next time.